Hi Year 9, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about your history option and uh, answer any questions that you've got. So obviously my name is Mrs Randall and I'm in charge of history over at Carisbrook. Now for history GCSE you will do two exams, okay? Each will have two exam papers and they're broken down into four different topics. So what we do is a process called interleaving, so we do half a term of each topic and we change to the next one. So the four topics that we will do are starting off with health and the people. So in this topic we will look at medicine from the year one up to modern day so we're looking at things like anesthetics and antiseptics the development of vaccines surgery and all these really cool things like uh, keyhole surgery and open heart surgery so modern day inventions We'll also have a look at America from 1920 to 1970. So in that topic, we're starting off with the boom, so the roaring 20s, the music and the fashion, the rise of the gangsters, introducing prohibition and the banning of alcohol, and then we look at the bust, so the depression in 1930s America. We move on and look at America's role in World War II, the 1950s with segregation, and we also then bring it up to the 1970s in which we look at the equality and the freedom from what for women. The final paper that we have a look at we, it will be to do with the war in Asia. So we'll look at the Korean War and the Vietnam War. And in that we will look at how America gets involved with the fighting. So you'll look at the different types of tactics the American soldiers use. You'll be able to weigh up different types of evidence and understand answers as to why America gets involved with a war the other side of the world. To finish off, our final topic will be the Norman Conquest. Very narrow period and we look at the Norman invasion of Britain and the immediate aftermath. So what was Britain like just before the Normans and what was Britain like after the Normans have been, have been and they have conquered. Now you will use all this information in lots of different ways. We look at primary sources, secondary sources and we will put it all together and learn how to answer quite detailed questions. So GCSE history requires you to understand a quite a big amount of knowledge 32% of your final mark is based on your knowledge and your ability to recall that knowledge. But what we will do is take you through step by step each topic and interleaving as we go. So we'll take a topic at a time and then we'll break it down. Now you'll be provided with all the resources that you need in order for you to access this topic. It will give you lots of opportunities uh, for you to understand the world around you. History is everywhere. It covers everything from military history to social history for all of you. So there should be something that keeps all of you interested. There will be a huge amount of opportunities for you to take this the next step further. So for those of you who've really enjoyed the topics that we've done in year 9, you can use those topics later on in year 10 and year 11. So your exam will consist of two papers and each one of those is broken down into two one hour papers as well. If you want to find out some more then obviously there's lots of stuff that you can use on the website and there's lots of stuff in the options booklet or you just come and talk to one of your history teachers. It gives you lots and lots of opportunities for you to use your analytical skills, for you to use your retrieval practice, for you to look at how you extend your answers and write in detailed, whilst formulating really good, strong arguments, which is building on all the stuff that you've done through year seven, eight, and nine. If you think history is something for you, then be prepared, hard work, resilience, reading, writing, all important, but at the same time you get to look at a huge array of different topics through a vast period of time, and hopefully there's something to keep you all happy. Thank you.